Hi everyone, it's Talia from Motherhood The Real Deal and um, I'm here to talk to you today about Blogfest and namely um, the things that I learned at Mumsnet Blogfest that I want to share with you. And now I was uh, able to go to Blogfest thanks to my awesome sponsors Calypso Sun who if you're going to be on the slopes this winter do check them out to stay protected. Um, right, so let's get on with the show. Let's talk about the seven things that I learned at Blogfest that I want to share with you. All right, so let me get my notes. Okay, first up, as a blogger, you need to know that your views are important. Don't ever doubt that fact, okay? You know, in the mainstream media today, we are not hearing the real voices, or if we are, it's very, very small proportion. Everything is being filtered. Everything is being portrayed. How those big players like Facebook or the big media giants or whoever else want to portray it, okay? So it is important that you and I and everyone else who is out there telling the truth continues to do so. And not everyone will like it, but that's fine because that is not why we're doing it. We're not doing it to be popular. We are doing it to say the truth, all right? So that's the first point. Point number two, let's talk about trolls. Mm, trolls, is there a troll out there watching this? Are you going to leave a nasty comment for me? Maybe, but you know what? that's okay. Because if you've got someone putting down what you're saying, if you've got someone, you know, nah, 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 on Twitter or on your blog comments or whatever, then just know this. You are winning. You are winning in life. And, you know, just ignore them. Just seriously ignore them. Just kiss your guns and know that you're winning. That's all you need to know. Okay. Point three is, um, we're going to talk about YouTube now. All right. I know a lot of you are like, oh, I don't know if I should go onto YouTube. I'm like too scared. Or maybe you're like sitting, you know, on the fence. We've just started. You know, I've only been doing it for a few months. Um, and here is the thing about YouTube. Like, let's talk about what YouTube can bring to you that other platforms like, you know, blogging cannot. Quite simply, I'm sitting here right now having a chat with you. It really is that incredible kind of like connection that you do not get with someone through a blog. A blog is amazing and that is words, but it's not like you're just sitting there and talking to someone. And from that, you can really build a connection with your um, blog followers. So it's something to build on. And um, you know, you can develop a sense of community um, in a kind of different way, in a sort of deeper way. And you can um, also, for those of you looking to kind of like increase your brand work or maybe get into brand work, um, it's, um, it's basically, it's where the money is. So everyone says, <laughs> anyway, um, I I'll confirm that in a few months time. Um, but you know, brands are really looking for people to tell their story face to face, or should I say screen to screen, just like this. So, um, you know, food for thought. Okay, fourth, point is, okay, I know that a lot of us really kind of like wrangle with guilt about blogging and I'm spending too much time blogging or, you know, I shouldn't be blogging, I should be doing this, that and the other instead. But here is the thing, if you want blogging to be your main thing, if you want blogging to be, you know, your um, your bread earner, you want it to be your career, you want it to be what you do, um, then you need to treat it like your job and that means having a structure, that means, you know, taking out the time each day, carving out that time to do your blogging, to do your social media. I know everyone might be rolling their eyes that you're using Instagram again on the toilet or whatever, but you know, you need to do what you need to do to build your brand, obviously within reason. Um, so I hope that kind of like, you know, makes you all feel like, yes, I'm going to do this. Okay. Um, next point is, right, being paid for content. There is a lot of chat about this, being paid for content. Oh, you're selling out, da, 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 da. But here's the thing, nobody is paying for your content. Nobody is paying to subscribe to your site. How are you supposed to justify what you're doing if you are not making money for your blog? Therefore, somebody, um, you know, somebody paying to collaborate with you on paid content on your blog is not something you should be feeling guilty, guilty about. You know, you're not selling out, do not feel guilty. You know, this is what you need to be doing to make blogging sustainable for you. Okay, uh, next point is, is, right, hands up how many times you have sat there and thought, oh God, I don't want to publish this post, I'm so scared. Oh, you know, you sit on it, you think, oh, hit the publish button maybe five, 10, 20 times. We have all been there. Okay, but listen, when you're blogging, I know a lot of people say, oh, you know, you should be thinking about your audience, but 
There's two sides to every story. You can do that for sure. And you can totally, you know, limit what you say because you're worried that people are gonna get upset. Or you can actually say what you think. Don't think about your audience. Don't think about the boundaries. Be brave and do it. And for me, I would say go down that route. But you know, it's not for everyone. But if you want to feel like you're saying, what you know, if you want to say something and you want it to get across, um, then, you know, don't filter what you're saying. Be real. Okay, and the last point is you want to be seen. Blogging, you know, there's no point blogging in a vacuum. Um, if you feel like your posts are not reaching anyone, what can you do? It can be very frustrating and it can take a very long time to get there. So one way to get around that is actually by blogging about what people want to see. Now, how on earth do you know what people need want to see? Okay, you basically want to be blogging about uh, what people are looking up on um, Google searches. So, um, there is a really awesome little site that I learned about um, at Blogfest, um, and uh, it's called, oh no, I haven't written it on my notes, how terrible! Ah, oh, I'm gonna have to look it up now and put these two videos back together. Haha, <laughs> back again, what an idiot. Okay, I have got the uh, website, it's called Answer the Public. So the website that you want to be um, looking at to find out what are people wanting to know um, and read about on Google is called Answer the Public. So um, I've been using it a little bit. Um, it's really, you know, helped me um, sort of shape some um, blog posts, um, give you a bit of inspiration. Check it out, you've got nothing to lose. Um, right, so there are my seven points. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you found it useful. Did you find it useful? What What did you find the most useful? Leave a comment below and let me know. Um, if you want some um, uh, more blogging tips, do head over to my blog, www.motherhoodtherealdeal.com because as well as all things motherhood and parenthood, there's lots of blogging tips for me to you. Um, and if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and help me make more. All right, guys, cheers, bye.